Good morning, collective. I hope all is well. Thank you so much for tuning in to Miss Mood's Motivational Tarot, where I'm here to inspire you on your human and spiritual experience. Oh my God. Y'all, I'm trying to set up. <laughs> I hope everyone is keeping their uh, vibrations high. Y'all know what time it is. It's Millionaire Mood Monday. Okay? Today is Monday. Millionaire Mood Monday. Let's see what's going on. Give me one second. <clears throat> All right. Trying to get situated. <laughs> Spirit wanted me to go dig for a deck, dig for um, a deck different than what I usually um, use. This deck is. Why is all of that? It's called Ghetto Tarot. <laughs> yeah, I know it sounds like I live in a ghetto right now, but I do not. I just live in the city. Okay. Oh. So let's see what spirit want to talk about. Ghetto Tyrone. I'm hearing the song, but I don't know the words and I'm not about to sing it. Ancestors of a highest good and light. Thank you so much for the love, the clarity, the downloads. Thank you for the divine protection for me and the collective that is watching as above, so below. Let's go. All right. Yeah, Spirit said, you, I got you. Ace of Swords. <laughs> well, this one says Ace of Machete. Ooh, and we have the Ten of Cups. What? Wait. What? What? Y'all saw that, right? I almost dropped it. Ace of Swords or Ace of Machete and the Ten of Cups. Isn't this pretty? These cards are gorgeous. I'm hearing living in the ghetto. I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> Spirit, don't start this morning. Yes, you ready to move out of the ghetto? Oh, that came out. Look at that. Yes, I love it. The Ten of Cups is definitely here. The Ace of Brooms and the Six of Pentacles. Y'all. Wow. Six of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Ten of Cups. Somebody's getting some money. And you, you're going to be so happy because you are definitely moving to something much better. I mean, if you look at the background with these Six of Pentacles, it's like you're getting this generous offer of money in the ghetto. Okay? <laughs> I don't know who this person is, but they come in to share the wealth. Okay? Now, it could be a soulmate or it could be a check. Okay, a donation, uh, um, hidden money. I don't know, but we're going to find out. And then we have the Ace of Brooms, which is like burning shit to the ground, taking what you could take and keep it moving. Right? Get ready is what Spirit is saying. Now, we already saw the Ace of Swords. So, this is not me telling you guys. This is not me hoping for you guys. This is not me just saying whatever the fuck I want to say. No, 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 no. Spirit came out. See the ghetto? See? See? All this shit happening. It be quiet over here. Now, all of a sudden, motherfuckers is like beeping horns and shit. <laughs> like, that's going to make shit better. No, you loud as fuck. Okay, I don't know if y'all can hear it, but she it, over where I'm at on this side of the camera is loud and proud. Okay, Ten of Cups, some kind of happy lifestyle. Okay, something that's going to make you very happy. This can be a home, it could be partnership, it could be a bigger space for you and your children, a better neighborhood. 
a new state, a new county, a new country. Hmm. All right. So you get this gift, this generosity of abundance, this resource. Okay. It could be a, an approval. Okay. To an application that you had. I don't know. But boom. You got the sun. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Happy as a motherfucker, okay, millionaire. Yeah, this could be an opportunity to work for somebody. <clears throat> wow, King of Pentacles, that's who this is. <laughs> okay, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, sitting pretty, like, hmm. Who am I blessing today? <laughs> That's how he look, right? Hmm. Who am I blessing today? Which one of these am I picking? Okay. I mean, you can't get no better. This Ten of Cups is associated with this King of Pentacles entergy. Okay. Entergy. Yes. Entergy. Entergy. So this person could have an abbreviation of the letter G in their uh, first or last name, maybe the state, I don't know, their company, something. Somebody got the letter G, okay? We got temperance. Definitely filling your cup up with some good love, okay? Something that's going to keep you balanced, something that's definitely spiritually guided. This can be a soulmate or a partner, Okay, but spirit is saying, I got my hands on this. All right, I got your cup in one hand, and I got their cup in another hand. And I'm going to pour it to where it's balanced. Six of Pentacles, I can't make it up. I'm not lying. Nope. <laughs> nope. Okay, I love it. Spirit, come on, talk about it. What's this uh, Six of Pentacles? Clarify the Six of Pentacles. I saw it. <clears throat> oh, you got two. Ooh, what is that? Do y'all see what I see? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so giggly, yo, because I get so excited for you, okay? Spirit, come through. Come through. Y'all see the Ten of Pentacles. You got the Ten of Cups, and you got the Ten of Pentacles, and we ain't even 10 minutes in, okay? <laughs> we ain't even 10 minutes in, and you got both tens. Oh, my God. My, 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 <laughs> my, 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 the Wheel of Fortune with this ace of brooms ace of wands damn what what is this this could be a leo this could be a scorpio hmm it ain't never looked this good in all my readings and i've had some readings that y'all be like i don't believe it right because it'd be just so coincidental but this I can't make this up if I wanted to. I just listen to spirit and spirit say, use this deck. Okay? Use this deck. All right? Ghetto tarot. All right? Somebody could definitely, you know, been visualizing and it's paying off. Whatever you've been doing. You know what? Spirit said this is a gift. This is not something you did. That's why you got the new beginning and you got the six of pentacles. This is two people getting a handout from this king of pentacles. I'm telling you. And he's sitting there like, hmm, who can I give to? I told y'all that's what I felt. <laughs> That's what I felt. And then you get the will of fortune. Like everybody is being guided at the same time. Wow. Okay. 
you have the hermit, okay? So some type of clarity. Somebody is on a journey by themselves, spiritual journey, spiritual path. Something about clarity and, you know, this is major, you know? A quest. I'm trying to find out what's going on. <laughs> I'm trying to find out what's going on, right? A quest. All right, some type of solution, all right? The truth comes out. And that's what I feel like this Wheel of Fortune and Ten of Pentacles is doing. Oh, my goodness. This is so good. What's going on, Spirit? I love the energy. Clarify, please, the Ten of Cups. Okay, so we know you got a generous offer of money coming in towards you, possibly from a King of Pentacles. This could be a boss, a lover. All right. So the ten, ten of Cups. This is all right. Because I'll have to drop all the cards. This is the Four of Pentacles. Okay. So you have the Ten of Cups and you have the Four of Pentacles, right? Um, somebody's holding on real tight. Holding on real tight, right? It also can be feeling really secure in this connection, like. This is where I'm staying and I'm not going anywhere. Hmm. And I have a funny feeling. It's this king of pentacles. When they make up their mind, this could be a Taurus, a very stubborn individual. But they're not stubborn in a bad way. They want what they want. And they're going to do anything they have to do to get it. <laughs> All right. All in good standing, though. I, I feel like this person is someone that is um, very very moral and ethical. Like, they have beliefs and views that they value. They definitely value family. Definitely. And I say that because you have the Ten of Pentacles and you have the Ten of Cups, which is both about legacy, family, stability, financial, you know, elevation, love. At all times, you know, the happy wife, happy husband, happy home, the children, grandchildren, pets, you know, the business is booming. Everything is everything is what I'm hearing. Okay. Everything is everything is what I'm hearing. All right. So. <clears throat> thank you, spirit. This this is definitely coming in and it's a new beginning. It's a new beginning. This is this is this could be a new beginning in a home, a new beginning with a partner, all of the above, a new beginning in a business with a business partner. Um, but but this person is is letting me know I'm here to stay. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I told you. Look at the chariot. <laughs> Okay. All right. So if, if things is looking, you know, like sometimes you got to make believe until you get it. You know, sometimes you got to fake it till you make it. And, and you know, fake it so much that anybody see you, they be like, why this fool in, in the ghetto with a crown on his head? Right. And a wand in his head, like 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 he's ruling people like he has a he's an overseer, like he has he's ruling his castle. Um, Spirit is saying, you know, I paint the picture with my words, but use my words as a form of, of a foundation to really see this in a spiritual way. You know, because as a person thinks, so shall he is. So shall he be. Okay? So if you think of yourself as mediocre, as poor, come on millionaires. I'm not lying. That's why I do what I do. Because this channel is not only for someone who's actually watching that is a millionaire, but some of the some this I'm sorry, some of these multimillionaire Monday uh videos that I post is for people that believe they are, people who walk around acting like they are, you know, doing what millionaires do, you know doing the things that most people don't do when people are sleeping millionaires are up speaking affirmations they get up early they work out they have a routine a regimen like it takes a lot to get the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups so <clears throat> you got to be strong-willed and the chariot can be strong-willed 
Okay. And I feel like this person is definitely someone that takes action. Right. Once they got their mind set on something, they're going after it and they're getting success. They're not just going. They're getting success. And this person feels like, you know what? I'm staying right here. I have finally, you know, arrived to my destination. <laughs> I have finally made it. OK. All right now. Dang. That one fell all on the floor. Sorry. Boom. Justice. Y'all, I'm not making this up. <laughs> all right? I'm where I'm supposed to be. That's the truth. I'm ready to sign whatever legal documents, papers, signature, whatever. Where's the dotted line? This is going to be a win for you, and this is going to be a win for them. Now, if you don't resonate with this, if you don't feel like this is your story, then it's not your story. But for those of you who actually dare to believe, dare to imagine, dare to say, this is my reading, I claim it, then it's yours. It came in as a form of a gift of abundance. Okay? Wow. <clears throat> I love this reading for you guys. Today is December the 18th. My mother's birthday was yesterday, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And I had a good time. I really did. I had a good time with my family, my niece, my sister. My kids had fun. You know, it was just a nice birthday for her. She turned uh, 62 this year, yeah, 62 years old, young and beautiful, black don't crack. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is the potential outcome. They not coming in offering um, a cup of love. They're coming in to offer commitment. This is a mature individual. All right, they're balanced in love and stability and financially. Like if you're like, you know, I want a partner that is mature emotionally and financially stable. Someone that, you know, knows how to turn a dollar into 15 cent, knows how to turn... <clears throat> I'm sorry, knows how to turn a dollar out of 15 cent. Like, so you got 15 cent and this person come back with a dollar. I'm just using that on a lower spectrum, but they know how to invest well, right? They know the law. They do things by the law. They're not, you know, a, a, I'm not knocking nobody's profession, but they got paperwork to back up their position in life. Their status, you know, they have a certain status quo about themselves, you know, on a higher spectrum. Okay, they could work for the judicial system. I am picking up somebody works as a judge. So somebody's a judge. Okay, so this person is a judge or this could be a judge um, or, or some type of um, they like oversee some type of paperwork, financial institution like a bank. Okay. All right, but this person has a lot of love. They have a lot of love. They have a lot of devotion uh, in life in general, okay? And <clears throat> what this Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles gives me um, 16 Pentacles, which is the Seven of Pentacles, right? The Seven of Pentacles is an investment. And what this person is willing to invest is not only stability and finances, but also em emotional stability. And they're coming in, riding on their way to you. That's why we saw the chariot. This person is being led with the ace of wands and the will of fortune. This person is being led, okay, towards you. Hmm. I don't be wanting to hear it, but I be telling the truth. Okay? <clears throat> something is dying in order for something to be reborn. 
a cycle is ending in order for a new one to be reborn. The Ace of Wands clarifies the death and the will of fortune. This ain't your regular schmegler around the, you know, around the corner. This is like <laughs> life changing. Okay. Your whole life, Spirit is telling you with the death and the will of fortune and the Ace of Wands that when this person shows up in your life, prepare to put an end to the shit that was in the ghetto. Like, you ain't living that lifestyle no more. Okay? You're not living that lifestyle no more. Your money ain't going to be funny. Your business projects is going to be booming. Your relationship status is not going to be single. It's not going to be. It's going to be, you know, booed up, right? Engaged, I'm hearing. Okay. Like, it's going to take off. Clarify this uh, will of fortune. Dang, these cards be chopping me. Now, three came out for the will of fortune. I don't want to take them because <laughs> it's a lot. But I'm going to take it because it came out. So let's see. Wow. We got the magician, right? We got the magician. We got the five of machete, which is the five of swords. And we got the five of pentacles. Didn't I say that things were changing in your finances and your status? Something is being manifested. And you could have manifested this. Okay struggling financially trying to keep your business afloat is what i'm hearing you're ready to call it quits and feel defeated and that's that could be the death like as this ends in your life a new beginning is created wow <clears throat> wow thank you spirit that is crazy. <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit. All right. So let's see what Spirit's going to say about this. Look, it's too many cards. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Clarify the Will of Fortune, please, and thank you. Clarify the Will of Fortune with the Ace of Wands. Right? This new beginning is coming full force. A cycle has ended. This is why this Ace of Wands is here. Wow. You got another king. I know I'm whispering. Because you got two kings here. You got three kings here. Okay. <laughs> when I say the jack of all trades. Okay. Don't under... Uh, don't... Thank you, spirit. <clears throat> Don't underestimate this person. It's like when they at work, they at work. When they home, they at home. When they on a goal or they got to make a plan, they on it. Okay? They on it. I don't feel like this is, yeah, you go from the Ace of Wands to the King of Wands. Okay? That means that this was created by someone. Spirit put somebody in this position to be a leader in your life, a leader over your household, or a leader in your finances, like a mentor, but or someone's taking action. Someone's the king of wands is a person who is bold, they're powerful, they have a charm about them. You know, this person faces their fears, they don't have any fears, is what spirit is telling me. This is why they can come in very mature. Okay? <clears throat> All right? They're putting it together. That's why they said, I'm not going nowhere. Four Pentacles. I'm holding on. I'm staying right put. That's what I heard. I'm staying right put. I'm staying right here. <clears throat> Page of Brooms. Okay? Something about a child or build. Like, you ready to build? You ready to clean up? You ready? Look, he got a bag and a broom. A bag and a broom. I don't need nothing else. If that ain't that Ace of Wands, I don't know what is. This is all you taking? Yup. <laughs> 
this person doesn't need much remember i told y'all making a dollar out of 15 cent yo that's a houdini right there we saw the magician somebody taking whatever they got and working with it and making it work very successful okay very successful clarify the four of pentacles <clears throat> All these damn cards. But the Ace of Machete came back. The Tower. Ooh. I, if Spirit... If Spirit don't come through... <laughs> Y'all know what this is. Okay? Aces are always from the universe. Okay? The Tower is always from the universe. Didn't I tell you somebody is leaving a uh, abandoned ghetto ass neighborhood? Something is it's time to change positions. Like somebody's coming to take the lead. I'm appointing this person. This they're honest, you know, like truth and honesty. You know, the ideas, like let's do it this way, you know. And I feel like you're gonna love it. I feel like you're gonna love it. Okay, we have the devil. What? somebody's afraid my hand is itching all right so i feel like when this happens it's gonna happen so quick and so fast that you may you know <clears throat> start to fear how can i put my trust in how can you know what i mean just but it's the end to it because the tower means that a change has to happen with this. And this is, you know, toxicity. This is, you know, trying to... Now, this can also be somebody being possessive, you know, being controlling. Somebody who is, you know, taking the lead is what I'm hearing. You know? Okay, spirit. I still need one card for the Four of Pentacles. What is this possessiveness? Okay. So we have the world. Look at you. This person wants to... They, they could be overly protective. They, they want to protect you. They see you as the one. This is a Leo. I'm going to tell you that right now. Or you could be a Leo. Okay. The horns are blowing... Somebody has <clears throat> successfully made it, okay? The world is all about ending one cycle and starting another one, okay? So somebody's definitely taking control of this situation and causing it to turn out very successful. And that's what we saw with the King of Wands, right? You're protected, all around you, you're protected. So there's no reason to fear, even if you can't feel the ground. Because it looks like she's in the sky. She ain't got no foundation. But she's protected, you know, around. So, you know, when you moving, you ain't got no foundation, right? You got to get from point A to point B, right? You got to leave one chapter and start a new one, right? And so in that process of moving, it may feel scary, right? Especially if this person is providing the resources for you to move. Because that's what I'm feeling. This could be a sugar daddy. I don't know. But this person don't just want to be a sugar daddy. They want to be your companion. Hmm. Clarify justice. This person... Ooh, why you keep falling on the floor? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my god. Okay, so we got the two of pentacles, which is letting me know finances, right? You're not in a position to do anything, but it's like you got to try to figure out a way to balance out your money. And then you have the eight of brooms, which lets me know that this person is coming in to help balance your finances, balance your living conditions, balance your life. And that's what justice is here saying. This is, this is, let this happen. Let it happen. I'm not telling you be cuckoo the fool and, you know, go and, and just the first person come along um, and you just let them tell you what to do. 
You know, if you haven't met this person, this will happen over time. It's going to start out with this person being very generous. Um, when this person comes in, thank you, spirit. When this person comes in, you may feel a little ashamed. You know, I don't think you're going to meet this person like at your house. I feel like you're going to meet this person out and about, you know, where people spend money. So you might be like I said, going to a bank, you could be in a community buying food, you know, you, you could be, um, eating with friends is what I'm hearing. And you come across this person, but as things develop, it develops very quickly. This person's going to let you know that they, they really like you. They really care about you. They really see themselves, um, having a life with you. And it's going to be a little scary because it's like, oh, my God, you know, I don't want this person to see me live like this. I don't want them to know exactly where I live at. And so, you know, don't let that hinder you. Let this person see the real you because they have a huge heart. They don't only just have money. They have a huge heart and they, they're very influential. They're a very powerful individual. OK, and I feel like. um no, you're not a charity case. I heard somebody say, I'm not no charity case. No, you're not. It's just the way spirit is guiding. Remember, we have ace of swords, ace of wands. We have the will of fortune. And Okay, so this is letting me know that divine is guiding this towards you. You know? Damn. Like, he holding up two coins tied to a rope. You know how you be digging in your pocket for change and you pull out lint? <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but that's what spirit is showing me, okay? It's time for some things to change in your finances. And we saw that with the five of wands and the five of swords. I mean, the five of pentacles and the five of swords, right? Feeling defeated financially. Feeling defeated in your business. And then you get something that comes in from divine with the temperance card back out here again. Saying, I got your cup. I got their cup. Let me pour this how I need to pour it. Let me balance this out for you. I'm sorry, I don't mean to get aggressive. I love you guys, okay? But I get up and I do these readings because Spirit tell me to, all right? Spirit is telling me to. Let me balance this out for you. Hmm. This is divinely supposed to happen, okay? Why is, temper why, why is this being balanced out by Spirit? Clarify with one card, please. Why is this being balanced out by you, spirit? Oh, my God. I said one. <laughs> I said one. <laughs> Why is this being balanced out? Please and thank you. The two of brooms. A new beginning. Why is this being balanced out? Because somebody wants something different. They want a better lifestyle. Okay? They want a better lifestyle. Yes. Look at this. Wait a minute. I'm so confused. <laughs> Wait a minute. So the six of pentacles, y'all, I thought this was the ten of pentacles because it said one and an X. It's the nine of pentacles. So this six of pentacles is coming in through somebody who is single and very, very well off. Somebody who is abundant. This is coming in towards somebody who is single and doing well in life. Okay. Looking for marriage, love, commitment. This person is not codependent. They're not looking for somebody to um, let them know how good they are. They know how good they are. Okay, they've accomplished a lot in life. And they want to share that with somebody. I want to dance with somebody. I want to feel the heat with somebody. Yeah, I want to dance with somebody. With somebody who loves me. Somebody who Yes, you know Whitney. Whitney came through. Come through, Whitney. <laughs> Come through, okay? Yeah. All right? Somebody is looking to share their legacy. This person wants a family. They want a family. They want a family. 
Okay, they want to feel complete and whole. They want to pass down their legacy. Why work so hard? <laughs> so some of you are marrying into money. All right, some of you are marrying into money. I hear this could be a mistake. Like, there go your worries. There go your confusion, right? There go all those things we saw. And then you have temperance right here saying, you know, even though you don't see how everything going to turn out, trust. Right? Be patient. Allow this to happen, okay? Allow it to happen. Page of Wands. He come back out here again. <laughs> Let's see how we could build, okay? You ready? You ready? You ready, ready? Because you go from the ace to the page to the king. All right? Taking, making a decision and sticking to it. Right? This is a good thing. This is really good. This is really, really, really good. So please, do not be up in your head about this. Just take your time. Just be patient. It's like once you meet somebody like this, why would you want to rush it? It's going to take off really quick as far as emotions and feelings and taking action. This person might want to see you multiple times throughout the week. Okay? Make yourself available. <laughs> if you're single and you don't want to be single and you want a lifestyle change, you want your life to be, you know, upgraded, you want somebody that's going to invest into your dreams, this person has the ability to do that because they're already well established. This is not somebody, you know, sometimes it's hard to date two entrepreneurs because if y'all both starting out, y'all never have time for each other. And so what happens is that the, the connection demolishes, even though it has the potential. But this goes from the ace to the page to the king. Okay, with the eight of wands and the two of pentacles, balancing this shit out. I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, okay. All right, spirit, clarify this connection. Clarify this connection, please, and thank you. If y'all enjoyed this reading, please let me know. Let me me know let me know your love is mm -hmm. i'm hearing Aaliyah. dear diary and there he was Ooh, child somebody just uprooted popped up in your life out of nowhere like where you come from <laughs> <laughs> and there he was this is definitely a divine feminine reading if you resonate with a divine feminine somebody that's single going through it financially maybe your business is failing maybe you're not doing well maybe you live in a ghetto spirit is saying you got you got somebody a sugar daddy somebody coming in to be in your life for a very long time i'm gonna say that ten of pentacles or they trying to set you up road to nowhere right yeah You've been on this road going nowhere, trying to figure out what's the next step. And then you got somebody come in with a generous offer. They're giving you the, your flowers. I don't know why this person feels or sees you as someone that... Why does this person see you so... Like you're the one. Like what is it that they know about? How, you know, when spirit do with spirit. Because they see you as, I told you, you should see me in a crown. Come through. <laughs> it's like spirit is telling, like they just know. I don't know how business people work when they make investments for a king of pentacles. It has to make sense. And it has to make sense in their heart. And it has to make sense when they act on it. Because they're not trying to look like no fool. And the fool did not come out here. The Ace of Wands did. The Ace of Swords did. Okay? This person sees themselves as very successful. And I told you, they see you as the one. They see you as the one. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you. Justice came back the fuck out. What'd that say? Karma. Okay? Wheel of fortune. Rebalancing the scales. And that's what the fuck came out in your reading. You got justice and you got the wheel of fortune. And both of them show out in a whole nother deck. <laughs> okay. Somebody could be a Libra. 
But something is being balanced in your life through spirit, giving you exactly what you deserve. You deserve this, boo-boo. Yeah? You deserve this. What I love about this card is... <clears throat> This is like an ancestor, right? Because I can see the hair scarf on her head. Can y'all see that? This is like an ancestor. That's what spirit is telling me. And instead of the ancestor using their hand to help this person out of this emotional um, oasis, because that's what this is. This is an oasis. Deep in your feelings. But guess what? This person is not in their feelings. This is a spiritual... Um, a spiritual elevation. This is like, this is like your ancestors of the waters is guiding this to happen. And this person that's, that's lifted out of the water, it's like as if spirit is dropping love into someone's life. Like I'm going to put you in, in this, this cup, this big old cup, but you safe. Right, because that, that could be scary. You ain't got no boat. <laughs> you ain't got no boat. And I'm supposed to just go barefooted in this water with this big-ass dress on. And instead of them holding with their hand, it's like they're saying, pay attention. they holding. You know how your mother or somebody holds your chin and say, baby, listen here. Listen to me when I tell you. You're fine. It's not scary, okay? It's not. You're fine. It's here to balance you out. That's what it's here to do. Okay? Somebody is longing for love. Longing for happiness, completeness. Longing to know that, oh, longing for you. This is a spiritual spouse. Didn't I say that? Unconditional love. That card, I wish I had kept it out, but y'all saw that card. You and this person are spiritually intertwined. And that's what the Wheel of Fortune and Justice comes up. Because Justice is the card of Libra. And Libra is ruled by Venus. Okay? The heart wants what the heart wants. Unconditional love. And you've loved on yourself. You just in the ghetto. Or somebody in the ghetto. I feel like it's you, Collective. I'm the divine messenger. Told you. Y'all know who I am. Y'all know who I am. Okay? All right, y'all. Um, Spirit told me to pull out one more thing. Um, Over you past lovers. Let's see what kind of justice is coming in. What else they want to say about this connection? This is so beautiful. Yeah, exciting news. That's that Ace of Wands, okay? Somebody definitely has control issues. <laughs> you know, there's some kinks that always has to be worked out. Nothing is perfect, okay? You develop perfection over time. But I feel like, you know, maybe you're the one who's trying to control the situation when this person comes into your life because it just don't make no fucking sense. But it makes perfect sense to them. But Spirit is saying it should not make sense when I do something. You should just believe. Ready for love? You ready? You ready, ready? You've been understandably guarded. That's you. <laughs> I love you, Collector, but I got to tell the truth. Scared of being hurt. It's not that you don't want to be loved. You just don't want to be hurt again. You can't go through that shit no more. But why are we talking about the past? Because the past didn't come up in this reading at all, which means that you need to align and balance yourself with spirit. Spirit knows what the heart wants. Spirit knows that you want it. If you didn't want it, it wouldn't have came out. Okay? You're going back and forth in your head about this, and spirit is saying, I'm going to take control of this now. You ready? You ready for love? You ready for this commitment? Look, look, look. Look, look, look. I ain't even... Come on now. Okay? This is so funny because I thought this was the King of Cups. And then every time I think I see something and it's not it, it's the replica of it. So it's like, look again. Look again. Look again. <laughs> this is a past life connection. Wow. 
all right and something is coming in oh my god you got the sun and the judgment with the two of cups and the page of pentacles i can't fucking make this up all right this person is a boss boss you got all four kings and the emperor if y'all don't know what that is, go look it up. You over here wondering if this is going to work, wondering if this is real, wondering if this is your person. And spirit is saying, you right here. I told you, Divine Feminine, I knew it was you. That's why I be talking to you the way I talk to you. All right. Y'all be getting defensive with me, but I love you. Seven of Pentacles or Seven of uh, Wands. I love you. Stop being so stressed out about this. Stop trying to defend yourself all the time. Ten of brooms, ten of wands, right? You've been hurt in the past. But Spirit is saying, look at the nine of cups. Look at the magician. Look what you manifested into your life. Child, if y'all don't believe me, I don't know what to tell you. I'll take it. We'll take all of this, okay? If you down, you down. If you not, you not. All right? All of this, all of this, all of this, all of this, yeah. And and spirit right here, like, here you go. I got you. I got your cup and I got their cup. <laughs> I got your cup and I got their cup. Okay? Stop acting like you don't know. This is... <laughs> Time to celebrate. Time to be happy. Get excited, okay? Beautiful. I feel like this is a very organic connection. Spiritual and organically connected. That's what this person wants. They want their queen. They want their king. Okay? This is a very organic connection. Okay? I love this. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I, I, I put the other card down. Okay? <laughs> Ready for love. <laughs> right? Trying to, you indecisive about it, but you know you want it. And spirit is like, take it, please. Take it. It's okay. Why you don't trust? You took the time to heal. So what comes after healing? A new beginning. That's what it says. You took the time to heal. Now you are ready to try love again. So these are, this is for all my heartbreakers. This is for all of you that have been hurt over and over and over and over. Who Who's with me? I'm down. We a team, right? You wouldn't be watching me if you didn't trust what I have to say, if you wasn't interested, if you didn't think that Spirit had this reading or any other reading that I've read, okay? <laughs> yes, you got security. Everything that I said in this reading, I don't have to do anything but just shuffle the cards and let Spirit pick them. This is a divine message from divine, trying to get your attention to show you that you are writing a new love story. This is the story of the ages, battle of the heart and the mind, going back and forth, back and forth, wondering if it's your turn. And spirit is saying it's your turn. It's your turn. But this is for a lifetime. I'm not saying that I'm going to sign a dotted line and say you and this person are going to be together forever and nobody can come upon it. But what I will say is that what God put together, no man can set asunder. No man can separate what God put together. This is for all the heartbreakers, all the people that have had their heart broken. Okay? Deuces.